All right, we're getting in some breaking inputs. This with regards to the 1984 anti-Sikh riots case. We are learning at CNN News 18 that, uh, in fact, we've gained access to the charge sheet filed by the CBI against Jagdish Titler. This exclusive report includes an eyewitness account from an individual whose shop was torched during the 1984 riots. The eyewitness states, and I quote, Jagdish Titler emerged from his white ambassador car and began inciting the mob. The witness further alleges, and I quote again, he stepped out of the car and instigated the mob, urging them to first target Sikhs and then proceed to ransack their shops. This is the latest uh, an exclusive report uh, brought to you by CNN News 18 as we've now accessed the charge sheet filed by the CBI as far as Jagdish Titler is concerned. Now remember, this charge sheet had been filed in May and in fact it was on Saturday that uh, the Court of Sessions Judge Vikas Dhul had uh, in fact even granted an anticipatory bail to Jagdish Titler, also directed him to furnish bail bonds worth 1 lakh rupees and stated that the relief granted was subject to the conditioner, condition that Titler will not try to threaten or intimidate any of the witnesses. For more details, let's quickly go across to our legal correspondent, Ananya, who's joining me live on the phone line. Uh, remember, Ananya, the CBI, even in its charge sheet, has always been very clear that Titler had incited, instigated and provoked the mob at Pulbangash. And in fact, now going by what the charge sheet has to say, they have several eyewitness accounts to prove so. Well, in fact, definitely, you know, there are various eyewitness accounts that are there in that particular chart sheet that's been filed by the Central Bureau of Investigation in this particular case. But very, very particularly, one of the statements of the witnesses, which uh, we won't be naming because, you know, this is a matter of investigation. And uh, uh, in fact, um, uh, this is a crucial record. Uh, uh, so we'll not point out the name of the witness, but we, I can uh, surely tell you about the statement that uh, that person is. All right, we'll try and re reconnect uh, with Ananya, but uh, he's also highlighting one of those significant statements coming in from these eyewitness accounts. Uh, remember, on 26th of July, the Court of Additional Chief Metropolitan Magistrate had also taken cognizance, saying that there's uh, sufficient material available on record. Ananya is back with us. Ananya, please continue. Well, yes, uh, the statement basically goes on to say that Titler came out of his uh, white ambassador car and started to instigate uh, the mob to kill the six and also to loot their shops. He uh, also, you know, uh, there are other statements. And uh, more importantly, the statement of, uh, uh, you know, uh, Titler's driver uh, who was driving that ambassador car, his son's statement has been taken, which corroborates his position at that particular Pulbankash uh, uh, Gurudwara. In fact, statements of various journalists too uh, are also a part of this charge sheet that has been filed by the Central Bureau of Investigation. The conclusion of the charge sheet goes on to read that uh, Titler was present uh, near the Pulbankash Gurudwara. He instigated the mock and was a part and parcel to that unlawful assembly that existed at the, near the Pulbankash Gurudwara and conducted writing, uh, violating the prohibitory orders and uh, you know, burning, uh, which which basically resulted at the end uh, of, uh, you know, uh, wherein the Pulbangash Gurudwara was actually burned down completely. So this has been the charge of the Central Bureau of Investigation. We saw how, in fact, there was a massive protest outside uh, the Delhi's Rao's Avenue court today when Titler was being, uh, you know, Titler appeared before the court uh, of uh, Vidhi Gupta Anand. And in fact, the people, the victims of the 1984 riots have been demanding justice, have been, uh, you know, seeking for justice almost uh, four decades now still uh, they are in hope that a justice would be provided in this charge sheet has been filed by the central bureau of investigation let's see how much of it does it pan out in the court of law but titler has already been granted an anticipatory bail and uh, you know the trial in this case would begin very very soon the arguments on charge can also start in a short uh, in in the next uh, two to three dates Absolutely. And when we talk of these eyewitness accounts, important to also highlight, Ananya, how this is one case where we've also seen new eyewitness accounts come in. It was only after there, uh, there were new uh, eyewitness accounts that the CBI charged its file sheet, uh, filed its charge sheet. And, and, and it was only after that that, uh, you know, at the um, ACMM, Vidya uh, Gupta Anand, took charge and he took cognizance of this uh, entire uh, charge sheet. Important talk about the role that these new eyewitness accounts have also been playing. 
Well, yes, yeah, so there have been uh, various uh, new eyewitness accounts that have emerged out. In fact, uh, as we were speaking to Mr. H. S. Fulka a few days back, when uh, the court had actually issued summons against uh, Jagdish Title, it was very, very categorically. You know, he had uh, told that you know it took a lot of courage for these new people to actually come in and record their statement because in the past, uh, Title had threatened uh, witnesses and he had sent many of them abroad. Uh, you know, uh, is what the charge of the lawyers of the victim was, and in fact, that has been the contention uh, before the court as well. That they have placed the same before the court when when uh, the, the anticipatory bail of Titler was being heard, but very very categorically. Now, this charge sheet, if at all it reaches to its conclusion, and uh, you know, uh, the, the eyewitness accounts remain the same, and the court believes that you know there is a strong case. Titler might be in a lot of trouble, though he has been granted an anticipatory bail in this case, but the trial of this case is yet to begin. The state. of the witnesses yet to be examined but before that we have to also remember that this charge sheet comes almost after 39 years and after filing of three closure reports in this particular case so there is a change of circumstance that has come in there is uh, the central bureau of investigation uh, you know first files three uh, closure reports and now finally a charge sheet comes in where title is made in accused statements are used you know a various uh, uh, electronic and uh, documentary evidence is also you know uh, taken on record in order to uh, establish that title was present at that particular location and uh, the statements of around uh, uh, you know uh, various uh, witnesses also corroborate this as per the charge sheet so we'll have to wait and watch how things play up and whether this ch- charge sheet stands the test of law before in fact uh, uh, you know uh, uh, the ACMM and whether there is a watertight case with CBI has against Mr. Right, and before I let you go, case. Ananya, also important to talk about the kind of um, anger which is now brewing again within uh, uh, the, the Sikh community because you also mentioned that protest that was taking place outside uh, the Rouse Avenue court where you also happen to be present. Take us through the kind of sentiment on the ground level with regards to Jagdish Taitra. a lot of anguish their eyes filled with tears and you know uh, they had a lot of anguish in their heart while they were protesting against Jagdish Titler we saw it in the morning and uh, while i was reporting from outside the rouse avenue court our viewers also saw those uh, visuals uh, those those visuals were in fact almost everybody was crying and was asking that this man should be put behind the bars but what would happen is something that we'll have to wait and watch for all right many okay. thanks